Here we are live from Cowboy Stadium in Arlington, Texas, as we get set for the Western Conference All-Stars against the Eastern Conference All-Stars. Hi, everybody. Marv Albert along with Steve Kerr. Both teams getting ready, making their way out of the floor. We'll check out tonight's starting line. Steve, what's the game plan for the Eastern All-Stars tonight? Barb, they're going to have to find a way to contain Tim Duncan. He's relentless with his pressure that he puts on the defense. Such a force down on the low block, and he really is the key to this team. All right, Tim, a perennial All-NBA first-teamer, MVP of the finals in 2005. You're a one-time teammate of Tim Duncan. What makes him such a a special player. He's not a rah-rah type guy in terms of being a leader. Well, he's a superstar player, two-time MVP, and yet he acts like he's one of the guys. So he's really uh, one of the most popular players on that team. Very well respected. Mark, you know, unlike most NBA players, Tim Duncan did not start playing basketball until high school. Actually, he was a competitive swimmer before that. And LeBron James not able to hit. Paul walking it up. Here's the pick. And Tim Duncan too aggressive on that play. Howard looking for the ball. Wayne Wade gets to the line. Well, I like that move, more of aggressively going to the hoop and getting a couple of easy opportunities at the free throw line. And Dwayne Wade at the line. He's a 76% free throw shooter. He is such a mature player, and I think it has something to do with playing three seasons at Marquette. Just has a wonderful vision of the floor and a great sense of the game itself. Bucks out by Yao. Final minute of this first quarter. Western All-Stars up by one. The pass to Duncan. Bryant on the quick release. Snatched by Howard. Delivery to James. He fires from downtown. And LeBron James not able to hit. Hits the side of the rim and then carried out. This club really wants to finish strong in this quarter, Marvin. Here's a two-for-one opportunity they can take advantage of. James with the block. Here's Paul. Howard on the rebound. Pass to Wade. Howard is blocked. The screen is set. Paul with a crossover. So at the end of the first quarter, the Western All-Stars lead by one. Steve, you look at the stat sheet as we often do during the course of the, uh, of the telecast. Uh, not much going on to be able to separate these two clubs. Well, neither team was able to distinguish itself in the first quarter, Mar, but I think both clubs need to pick up the activity, the energy. It, it just looked a little sluggish out there to me at times, and I think this second quarter, the pace will pick up. The pass to James. Garnett posting up. And LeBron James made a sensational pass. Marv, he hit a terrific shot there, but you see the defense contesting that attempt. If they continue to do that all night, they'll be fine defensively. Yao on a quick release and the field goal. You watch Yao Ming take that perimeter shot. Does not get much off the ground, but at his size does not matter. No, it's really more of a set shot than a jump shot, Mar, but he releases it high above his head. And you know, at seven foot six, he just shoots right over the top of defenders. Duncan looking to post up. Good job by James. Yao try to break free. And Kobe Bryant off the mark. 
Wade comes across. Delivery to Howard. James wants the ball, and Dwight Howard misses. Well, they'd like to close this half out strongly. An excellent two-for-one opportunity right here. Bryant looks like he's injured. Hopefully nothing serious. Well, they got everything they wanted except the points, Marv. Good penetration. They get something going towards the hoop. They just can't finish. Stoudemire giving no room. And it's rejected. Bryant to the front court. And halfway through this one, the Western All-Stars lead by one. Western All-Stars with a balanced attack in the first half, and the coaching staff has to be pleased. Everyone getting into the end. Yeah, I think they've got to be happy offensively. They shared the ball, they spread the offense around, and if they continue to run their set plays like they did in that first half, they're going to be in good shape here tonight. James off the screen, and that is his first field goal. Steve, I think back to the first time we saw LeBron James. We did a preseason game together, and we look at his jump shot now and what it was. He has come a very long way. Well, he has, Marv. You wondered early on if he'd ever develop into a good shooter, but he, he did it so quickly, and I think it's a testament to just his amazing athleticism and his diligence. He's worked hard at it. Pass to Iverson. Dumped it, ends up with it. for three and rebounded by Howard. One minute remaining in this third quarter. The West down by one. Wade using the screen to get free. Here's Garnett. Controlled by Allen. Bryant bringing it across. And Kevin Garnett called for the foul. That's his first. And Kobe Bryant at the line, first time tonight. And he makes them both. This club really wants to finish strong in this quarter, Marvin. Here's a two-for-one opportunity they can take advantage of. Iverson with the bounce pass. Going off the dribble, puts it down through traffic. Marv, I think they've done a nice job tonight offensively running their sets. They look very effective. They're finding the open shooter. They've developed a good groove here tonight. The pass to Yao. Howard for the block shot. Here comes the screen. Nice crossover. Yes. James is two for four from the field. himself an easy hoop here, do something to get himself back into the game. And Tim Duncan called for the foul. That's his second. Howard at the line for the first time. Go. 
caught by Yao. Steve, these are important possessions. Stoudemire gets space. Wow, with authority on that dunk. Stoudemire is such a difficult matchup for anybody, Mark. Just too quick for most forwards and centers around the league. Delivery to Garnett. Yao, they've got to hustle it down. Very ill-advised shot, Mark, but really it's a result of a very poor offensive execution on that possession. Pass to Bryant. And Chris Paul with the assist. Steve, you look at that stroke, and you can understand there will be nights where he will put up those astronomical numbers. Well, he's always going to score well, Mark, because of his ability to get to the rim and to get to the free throw line. But because of that outside shot, he's become, I think, the best scorer in the game. One minute remaining in this fourth quarter. The score is tied. Let's it fly. Oh, what a shot. Oh, they've been really effective offensively tonight, Ma. That's one of the reasons they're winning this game. They've found a nice rhythm. They're getting open looks and they're really sharing the ball. And steps out of bounds. And that's certainly a sloppy play. Yeah, awfully casual with the ball, Marv. Surprising given that they're trying to protect a lead here in the fourth quarter. To the win. So that puts the West over the foul. Iverson at the line, first time tonight. A couple of big free throws coming here, Marvin. How many times do we see this free throws can determine the outcome? Clutch free throw shooting. The game is tied. Stoudemire in possession. to Bryant fires with a clutch bucket and Doc Rivers takes a timeout. Mark, this is where coaches look at their menu of ATOs after timeout plays. Everybody's got them. They're going to look at matchups here, try to pick the best one, and try to get a score. differential between the game clock and the shot clock. Delivery to Wade. Fires. Paul able to reach for it. And Allen Iverson picking up an intentional foul. No choice here. They had to stop the clock so they give the foul. And Chris Paul at the line for the first time. He needs to make two here to give his team a little breathing room, put them up by four. Right on target with that second free throw. They're now up by three. The East looking to talk it over. Mark, every coach in the NBA has a menu of what they call ATOs, after timeout plays. They're going to go to something they're very comfortable with, probably try to get the ball to their go-to man.
Puts it up. Handled by Yao. So the foul is committed to stop the clock. Yao at the line. First time tonight. Well, with this little time left, you basically just need one free throw here, and that'll seal the deal. Well, that second free throw right on, so it's a four-point lead. And Doc Rivers is looking to draw something up. Well, Mark, you're facing a two-possession deficit right now, so you've got two options. Either you go for the quick two and try to force a turnover or make a quick foul, or if you have an open three, Mark, you go ahead and take it, and at that point, you, you've got to, again, force a turnover, get a quick foul, stop the clock. Western All-Stars have won it. The final score is 17 to 12. This is Marv Alvin along with Steve Kerr saying so long from Cowboy Stadium in Arlington, Texas.